a piece of wood with specific gravity of 0.651 is 3 inches square and 5 feet long. Okay, that is 3 inches square and 5 feet long. Okay, for number 1, what is the volume in cubic feet of the lead having a unit, unit weight of 700 pounds per cubic feet that should be fastened at one end of the stick so that it will float in upright in one feet out of water? Okay. Okay, ganito yan. May ia-add tayo dito na um, lead. Okay? That has specific gravity of 700 pounds per cubic feet. That one. Okay? So, it says that in this position, uh, one feet should be out of water. That one. Okay? That means yung matitirang length dito is 4 meters. Of course, it is the total length of this wood is 5 feet long. I mean, naka-feet ito. Okay? Now, what is the volume of the lead needed? Okay, so first of all, um, we should expose the volume involved dito. I mean the forces. Okay, so we have the weight of this wood. We have the weight of that lead. Okay, and of course, we have the buoyant force. Okay? So next, I will just calculate first the volume of the wood. Okay, that is, since this is a square cross-sectional, I mean, um, square yung cross section niya so that will be 3 squared but i-divide natin siya by 12 i-convert natin into feet okay 3 over 12 squared times 5 ito yung volume ng ating wood okay now the weight of the wood okay I will just calculate first that is just specific gravity times gamma of water so English unit na 62.4 pounds per cubic feet times the volume of the wood that one and 12.69 pounds okay i just defined first the for uh, the forces involved dito then the buoyant force okay so buoyant force okay take note yung na submerged dito is this one this portion of this wood here plus the volume of this lead okay which is ito yung hinahanap dyan so we will express this to the volume of the lead okay so gamma of this uh, water or gamma of the liquid times the volume of this place or submerged. That is the this is just the volume of this wood na na submerged dito. Okay? Plus the volume of the lead. Okay, we will just express that. Okay, I will just simplify it further. Magiging ganito yan. Okay, now what is the other uh, force to be uh, calculated here? Of course, the weight of the lead. Okay, defining the weight of the lead, that is just gamma of that lead times the volume of the lead. Now, as you can see, we express here the FB and the weight of the lead to the volume of the lead, which is ito yung question for number one. Okay, I will just summarize that. So, by just equating equilibrium, that one, that will be um, the buoyant force minus the weight of the wood minus the weight of the lead. So take note, we define this uh, variable screen. Uh, so I will just substitute. Okay, the FB is this one. The weight of the lead is 12.69 pounds. The weight, I mean weight of the wood, then weight of the lead. 700 times the volume of that lead. So we just calculated the volume of the lead. 4.56 times 10 raised to negative 3 cubic feet. Okay, for number 2 and number 3, so madali na lang siya. So, determine the weight of the lead. So, weight is just gamma times the volume. Okay, we have the gamma here times the volume we just calculated kanina. And that one. Okay. Number three, determine the total weight of the lead. And the wood. Kumbaga, total weight of the lead and the wood. So, sobrang dali na lang. We have the weight of the wood. We have the weight of the lead. So, substitute. And ito yun. Okay. Okay, let's try another example. The 6 feet diameter cylinder weighs six, uh, 500 pounds and is 5 feet long. Okay, so here uh, we have the oil that is acting at one side of the cylinder. It has specific gravity of 0.8. So determine the upward force due to the effect of the oil on the left side. 
Okay, that means ito yung buoyant force. Okay, unahin natin yun. Okay, so we have this weight here. And of course, we have the hydrostatic force dito. Okay, that is uh, acting to this uh, projected plane. And we have this buoyant force here. Okay, now the buoyant force. Okay, I will just uh, project this into this view para mas klaro. Okay, ito yung buoyant force. Okay, the buoyant force is just gamma of the liquid times the volume of this place. Okay, so take note, this is 5 feet long, uh, perpendicular, na. So here, for part 1, we can just simply say that the gamma of the liquid is 0 0.8 times 62.4 times the volume of submerged. So ano yung volume of submerged natin dito? Or volume of the space generally? Ito, that one. Itong kalahati lang ng ating cylinder. Correct? Ito yung nag-displace, kumbaga. So, that one, that volume is just half of the volume of this cylinder. That will be one half times that one. This is just the area of this circle. No? Then, gihap natin. Pi over 4 times diameter squared. Multiplied by the length na 5. Ito yung volume of this place. So, by this, we calculated the buoyant force. Okay? Now, compute the horizontal reaction at A. Uh, this one. Okay? So, take note, we, ne we need to calculate the hydrostatic force X dito. Okay? So, our projected area is ito. Okay? Gamma bar H area since isang liquid uh, lang naman ito dito. Okay? So, um, the bar H should be from the center of this projected area up to the free surface. Okay? So, gamma bar H area. Gamma is 0.81 times 62.4 times uh, 5 times 6 wala siyang bar h hindi ko nalagay yung bar h let me see okay let me try uh, the calculator baka na mistype ko lang to um, that is um, 0.8 um, times 62.4 times um, bar h here should be half ng 6 okay half ng 6 or 3 times the area that one 5 times 6 ito yun 5 times 6 or 30 no 5 times 6 is 30 so this should be the answer okay so hindi ko nalagay yung 3 okay please take note of this this should be the answer for uh, part 2 gamma bar h area Ah, hindi pa pala. Hindi ito yung tinatanong sa number 2, no? That is 449.82. Gamma, 0.8 times the um, gamma of the water times the bar H times the area. 4492.8. So, I will just um, write this here one. Ano yun? 4, 4, ano yun? 4492.8 <laughs> Ang hirap isulat dito. 0.8 Okay, ito yung FHX natin. Okay, well anyways, I will just use the calculator na lang mamaya. Okay, so please take note. Okay, so this one is located 2 feet from the bottom. Okay, that is just one-third of this um, six feet. Okay, klaro? One-third of the six feet. Now, ibalik ko. So, this one should not be the value, ha? Huh? Uh, miscalculate natin yan. Yeah, that is four, four, nine, two, point, eight. Okay, klaro? na miscalculate natin yan. So, by knowing that this should be 2 feet, that is just 1 third of the total height. Okay? So, I also need to calculate this one. Okay? So, uh, ito yung RA, yung pinapahanap sa number 2. So, I will just take moment dito. Sa baba, at B. Okay? 
na KRB. So take note, as you can see, hindi natin pwedeng i-equate directly yung hydrostatic force sa RA. Okay, bakit? As you can see, hindi sila magka-collinear. That means, i, um, it will create a moment kung hindi sila collinear. Dapat, uh, we can just directly equate this one to that one pag collinear sila. Or kumbaga, align sila. Or concurrent. Uh, in this case, parallel sila but not concurrent. That means, we should not directly say that FHX is equal to RA. Okay? So, best option here is to take moment about B. Actually, hindi sinabi na yung B is nakapin. Uh, we have RB and we have um, horizontal force at B. But because of this scenario, uh, we know that this FHX is not uh, collinear sa ating RA. So, possibility, may reaction talaga dito sa ating B, horizontal reaction. Okay? So, I will just take moment about B siguro. Okay? Okay, so, I will just uh, take note that this volume of this place will be having the centroid dito. Okay, and I can just calculate this x. Okay, x is 4r over 3, that one. Okay, centroid, recall, the centroid of the semicircle, circle, 4r over 3 or 4 over 5. Okay, by just summation of moment about b, so that should be the buoyant force times x times this one. Okay, FHX times um, 2, then minus RA times, take note, this is 3. Okay, half ng ating um, diameter. Then, this weight won't create moment about this point. Okay, Clara? So, this one should be 449.82. Okay, ilagay lang natin sa calculator. Um, 3528.82. To 8.64 uh, multiplied by 4 over pi um, divided by pi uh, plus 1 for okay ito yung nagkamali tayo na that should be 4492.8 4492.8 4, uh, multiplied by 2 times 2 then minus 3 of ra okay that one equate to zero and our ra should be no shift sold then it was 4492.0 the same lang the same lang pala 4492.8 okay okay we can just simply equate lang pala but to be sure, nag-moment ako dito, no? The same lang sila. Equal lang. Okay, well, anyways, ito yung answer. Um, na Parang na-confused ako dito, no? I can, I can say directly na this one is equal to this one because hindi sila collinear, no? Or kumbaga, hindi sila equal moment na mapuproduce dito. But because of this FB, um... Uh, they will create equal moments na. Okay, tutulong yung uh, buoyant force natin dito. Well, anyways, the answer should be 4492. Okay? Okay, mali yan. That is 4492.8. Okay, so let me correct this. Okay, kayo na lang bahala dito, ha? 8... <laughs> Pounds ang hirap isulat sa mouse. That one. Okay, ito rin. That value is ito. Okay, so please take note of this. Now, compute the vertical reaction at B. Okay, so yung vertical reaction at B can be calculated by summation forces sa vertical. That one. Okay? So that will be um, BB um, plus the buoyant force minus the weight of no, 5,000 or BV is just our RV here. And that is that one. Okay, so please take note of this um, error. Okay, nagkamali ako dito. Hindi ko na sali yung ating... Okay, balik ko ha. Dito tayo nagkamali. Dito. Sa hydrostatic force. Hindi natin nalagyan ng barred H. Okay? 
gamma 0.8 times 62.4 bar h dapat may 3 pa yan. Ito, not 1. Okay, times the area. 5 times 6. Okay, so please take note of that. Okay, may problem pa ba? I will just look at, ha? Huh? Okay, so that's the end.